Hello, this is Ria from Acme Incorporated. I'm calling to let you know that most of your onboarding is complete. However, it seems you stopped at the bank details section. Would you like to continue now? Hi, yes, I can continue now. Great. Please open the Acme app on your device. Sure, one moment. Okay, it's open now. Thank you. On the bottom right of your screen, you'll see a small orb icon. Tap on it to open and click on Start Call. This will connect you with our onboarding specialist. They're available to guide you through the remaining steps, including the bank details section. Oh yeah, I see it. You can now continue with our onboarding specialist who will guide you through the final steps. Thank you. Great, I will continue from there now. Thanks. Your next step is the loan agreement. Please review your loan agreement shown here. Once you're done, click the checkbox below to agree to our terms of use and privacy policy. Sure, give me a second. Um, what's the meaning of processing fees here? Processing fees are charges you pay for handling your loan application, like paperwork, approvals, and admin work. Hmm, I'm still confused. Can you explain it more? Of course. Let's break it down step by step. Your loan amount is 1 lakh rupees. Processing fee rate is 2% and GST rate is 18%. Step 1. Calculate processing fee. The processing fee is 2% of your loan amount. That is 2000 rupees. Step 2. Calculate GST. GST is 18% of your processing fee, which equals to 360 rupees. Total charges are the processing fee plus GST, which is 2,360 rupees. Oh, got it now. Thanks, Anika. In this step, you have to fill in your bank details. Let's start with selecting your bank name. Please choose your bank from the list. Great. You've selected ICICI Bank. Would you like to enter the rest of your bank details yourself? Or would you prefer to simply speak them out so I can fill them in for you automatically? It'll be easier for me to just uh, say the details. Please fill them in for me. Perfect. Let's continue. Please tell me your bank account number. 2345678912345678. Great. I've added your bank account number. Now let's move to the beneficiary's name. The beneficiary's name will be John Smith. All done. Now, could you share the IFSC code? Uh, ICI 0002329. Thanks for sharing that. But it seems like the IFSC code might be incomplete. In uh, India, an IFSC code is always 11 characters long and should start with four alphabets representing the bank, followed by seven numbers. The code you shared has only three letters at the beginning instead of four. Could you please check and tell me the correct IFSC code? Oh, you're right. I missed an alphabet. The correct code is uh, IC IC 0002329. Perfect. I've updated the code. Could you please check all the details once and let me know if you spot any issues? If everything looks good, you can move on to the next step by clicking on the continue button. Yes, everything is fine. We can move ahead. Thanks for your help. <laughs> 